After praising the King of all kings, the Master of the Day of Judgment, the One, the Only, Allah the Almighty, and sending salutations on the Imam of the Prophets, the leader of the Prophets, the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O Muslims, remember one thing, and that is that the Shaitan is your enemy. So take him as an enemy. He will try his best to deceive you, to misguide you. Why? Because he wants you to enter the fire of hell. This is why Ibn Qayyim rahimullah, would say that the shaitan He will not leave you alone. And when you're on the verge of dying and you're on the last throne, two shaitans come. One in the form of your mother and the other in the form of your father. And the father comes and he says, Oh my child, I was a Christian. This is the best of religions. Change, become a Christian. And then his mother comes. In the form of shaitan, the shaitan takes the form of his mother. And she says that I was a Jew. This is the best of religions. Change before it's too late. Allahu Akbar, the shaitan will try. And he will keep on trying to deceive a person, make a person deviate from the path. And on some occasions, he has succeeded. And on other occasions, he has failed. Allah Azza wa Jalla says that the shaitan is your enemy. So take him as your enemy. For that very reason, the first story comes to mind. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. My brothers, there was one guy who I know personally. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. A man who worships Allah that has been practicing for the past 15, 16 years worshipping Allah on a daily base. A man that is eager to learn about the religion. A man that is eager to elevate Islam. A man who gets up for his five daily prayers with his kids and he prays. So one occasion, he wanted to get married to a second wife. And where did he find her? On single Muslim. There he found a woman. White in complexion. But the only problem was that she was from Nigeria. His wife disagreed. He beat his wife black, blue and purple with a stick. 
he oppressed her in front of his little kids he beat his wife to make her agree and yes when she got the beating of her life she agreed but the sad thing was that she was oppressed so this individual I asked him have you spoken to her he says no have you verbally spoken no have you seen a picture of her no he will contact me at night and he will say yo man have fallen in love with her I can't live without her I can't wait to marry this woman many of his friends cousins disagreed many people went against him and he started dropping lines that everyone's jealous to such an extent that what he does he makes his wife go to the shop buy some wedding clothes buy some food and everything come the wedding night he's dressed in a moroccan thobe dressed to impress he phones me up and he says come down i'm going to get married so when i came all of his friends were sitting down in a circle waiting to do the ceremony for the marriage and all of a sudden she doesn't turn up like i said earlier his wife is oppressed his wife came to me came to my family and she said that my husband has beaten me give me some advice tell me something so my husband doesn't get married i understood one thing that this guy was an oppressor so i said that but that between you and allah there is no veil there is no barrier you supplicate to allah and allah will answer your prayer she supplicates she is a god fearing woman she supplicates and indeed allah azza wa jalla answered her supplication hours passed she didn't turn up the bride so we went on to the account on single muslim and found out that it wasn't a woman but it was a nigerian man allahu akbar that scammed him of 7000 pound through western union because she was claiming that i want my family to attend my marriage so when she didn't turn up allahu akbar now he's on the verge of dropping how shaitan fooled him people are laughing at him texting him sending him pictures of apes and monkeys hey you want a wife he is your wife allahu akbar tears are flowing from his eyes 
he says to me and he explained the full story he sat on the toilet he says I picked a blade up and I felt the presence of shaitan from the left ear kill yourself kill yourself disgrace you have been humiliated people are laughing at you kill yourself kill yourself he says I heard whispers from the left from the right from the left he says I grabbed the blade and I put it to my stomach and I was about to stab myself and all of a sudden I stopped and I said to my mind where and he said above the belly button he says I heard voices in my ear kill yourself kill yourself and I was about to kill myself until my wife knocked the door and I came out and that was the end of it so close a man who worshipped Allah for 15 years dedicated his life for religion and his end was that he was about to kill himself beating his wife oppressed his wife this is why I end by saying beware of the supplication of the oppressed